Hi everyone. So we're gonna do trivia. Trivia is a good problem to get you started with uh, JavaScript and HTML. So let's look at the specifications of trivia. So basically this is how it's gonna look like in the end. We're gonna have six buttons. We're gonna have a multiple choice uh, question and then we're gonna have a free response. So let's follow. So after you've downloaded the the after you've download, downloaded the boilerplate code, when you open up on CS50 ID, you're gonna have two files. You're gonna have index.html and CSS styles.css. So the styling is done for us. We don't really need to take care of it. So we're gonna focus our attention here on the index.html. So let's follow the implementation details. So the first thing he wants us to do is to... Uh, so this is what it's looking like right now. Let me remove this. Let me expand so I can remove. Close. So this is what it looks like right now. So what we're gonna do now is to create some buttons and create the h3 tag so i'm doing it here because right now for some reason the cs50 id is not working but when you do it over there it looks the same same thing so we're gonna do an h3 of uh, so he wants us to do an h3 with a question what is the approximate so i'll copy the questions they have so what is the approximate what is the approximate ratio of people to sheep in New Zealand so we save and if we look here we have the question so the next thing we have to do is basically to come with the we have to put the options right so the options will be buttons there will be six in total uh, at least for this one one two three four five six so let's create six buttons. So buttons, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So then I'll have, uh, so the ratios are six people per one person, six people per one person, three people per one person, one person oh no per sheep per sheep one person per one sheep one person per three sheep and finally one person one person per six sheep so now if we save and look at our code we have the we have the buttons and they are styled already because if you go to styles.css uh, it comes with some styling for buttons that was already created for us so we're covered here so the next step he wants us to do what so let's see so the next step is to i believe is to uh, create the javascript yes so we need to add the logic that once the person clicks on the button, if it's correct, it's going to turn green and say it's correct. And if it's incorrect, it's going to say incorrect and show red. So the right answer is this one. So there is actually one person per six sheep in New Zealand. We need to be able to identify the wrong and right and wrong answer. So for that, we'll create an ID. So an ID only works for a specific element and a class works for multiple so for since we have one correct we'll give an id and for incorrect we're gonna say incorrect and we can have for multiple so i'm gonna have a class so that way we can target those buttons okay so now let's go to our javascript so that's where we're gonna write so remember we need to uh, basically have a downloaded and everything will be here 
So if you look, I go back to the notes for HTML and JavaScript, you see that we need the, the JavaScript code doesn't work. So DOM add event listener. Add event. It doesn't work if we don't have this downloaded event listener, DOM content loaded. Why is that? Because the DOM is basically the HTML code. So we need to wait for the HTML code to load before can we start writing our JavaScript. So we need to put this. So we only run our JavaScript once out of our uh, HTML has loaded in our page. And now what we want is to grab something. So we want to grab the correct answer. So correct, correct button. So that way to grab that, we're going to use query selector and we're going to use get the ID. So if I put this, so I'll show you guys something really cool. If you guys go here and uh, on developer, so you go on Chrome developers, developer tools, you have something really cool. You can actually type JavaScript here, click on console, and then you can start uh, putting a uh, testing JavaScript code. So if you see, I put query selector correct and it's returned to me the correct button. So that's pretty neat because we can use that for debugging, uh, debugging purposes. So now we're gonna, uh, grab that correct button. So document dot query selector, the correct one. So that's the ID correct. And then we're going to do wrong. And since there are multiple wrongs, we're going to use query selector all. And then we're selecting by class. So incorrect. Okay. Incorrect incorrect oh i forgot the parenthesis awesome so now i need to event an event handler remember that an event handler is when something happens an event like clicking a button we're gonna do something about it so the way we do it is to use event handling and then when we click what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something about it. so for now let's just console hello and we can actually test this on our using the debugger. So uh, let me save. He's complaining. Correct button already has been declared. So let me just see one thing. Uh, correct button. So when we click, we say. Uh, Hello. So let's test that. Oops, didn't work. Let's see why. Correct button. Blah 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 blah. Button ID. One person per ship. So cor oh yeah. So this is incorrect button. Incorrect buttons. Okay. So once I click in the correct one, it says hello, hello, hello. So so far so good. So what we need now is to change the color of the button when we click on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say correct button dot style dot background color. Color equals red. So let's see if that works. So once I click here, it changes to red. So that's really cool. And we want to do the same for the incorrect buttons. So let's do now, but incorrect buttons, if we put here on the console, we'll see that it returns multiple elements. So it returns all the buttons that we've, uh, that has the incorrect class. So we have to loop through those incorrect buttons and then add an event handler for each one of them. So we'll do correct buttons dot length I plus plus. And now we add a uh, 
we add the event handler for each. So incorrect buttons I dot event. So if we click, we're gonna do what? So now let's just console hi to see if this is working. So if I click here, it should say hi and it's working. So this is a great way for us to debug, to console something here on the 